All right, hi guys, and back to Derail Valley. It's a Keio here again, <clears throat> and uh, we've had an update in Derail Valley, which uh, is quite a minor update, but it had some uh, performance uh, improvement and also uh, the movement sounds when you're walking around. You can now hear your footsteps, and also uh, let's go to the menu. There's a uh, now the field of view slider and I increased it to 60 and then uh, I turned off the cab highlights so it doesn't light up uh, this green, this uh, bluish green anymore that's a new thing from this update and uh, yeah and we are uh, we are still at the, at the harbor and there's a couple of things uh, we need to do uh, so first of all my inventory is full of uh, useless books so I'm gonna put them uh, down here in the lost and found because we don't need to carry these <clears throat> there we go and then uh, let's see what we can do oh there's still one more Uh, let's go and get the new job Oh, this is uh, such a mess Let's uh, get all of the green ones uh, that we're able to do here I'm not I don't want to do the the shunting jobs yet All right, all right all right, I think this is okay. Can't do, can't do, can't do, can't do. Deliver scrap metal. This one we can do. Might do actually. And this one, long one is required. Can't can't just uh, can't do it yet. We need to do a couple more jobs uh, before we can start uh, getting the long one. This one also requires long, this one requires hazmat, and this one, this one we can do, and I think that's, it. there's still one more, nope, can't do that yet, and this one, can't do, can't do, can't do, okay, so we have two jobs in all of these that we are able to take, and this one is, uh, Deliver empty sun omni container, so just deliver three containers to the food factory and the food fact we are here in the in the harbor So the food factory is uh, all the way to the north In here and it only pays uh, Less than 5k So I don't think I, I want to do that one and this one deliver scrap metal uh, To the steel mill which is where we came from, so it would be like a two-way job. So I think we will do this. F H B F H twenty-nine. Nice and simple job. And uh, let's go and take a look where it is. And uh, yeah. And by the way, guys, uh, I'm just uh, starting my my gaming channel. So if you happen to watch my video and uh, appreciate my Deere Valley and Microsoft Flight Sim videos, I really would appreciate uh, a like and uh, if you'd like to watch uh, more of my videos then please do subscribe, that would uh, make me very happy. I think it's, no it's not this one. <clears throat> This is the passenger station here, and uh, passenger jobs are not in the game yet, but they will be. So that's a nice thing to look forward to. There.
HBFH29. So yes, it's this. It's uh, it's this one. Okay. So we need to bring the loco here, and then uh, we'll go and accept this uh, mission. So we need to come here. So I'll switch this switch. And I think this one is already set. D60. And what about this one? Nope, this one needs to be set. There we go. And this one is already set. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go back to the local, and we definitely have enough uh, fuel to get back. All right, let's disconnect this baby. Mm -hmm. That was tense. All right. The, the job we're taking is the is in here. Okay, brake pipe pressure is increasing. We can um, start moving. Let's go. find an empty track and then uh, and then we'll uh, move back I think the middle track is empty yeah so this one this one is empty Switch, I think. Yep, there we go. Stop here. We'll go and switch this. I do think this uh, game is uh, is beautiful, even though the, some of the graphics are not the best in the world, but it's still uh, it's a very very nice style. Runs okay, I think. And the physics and everything that's uh, that's really nice in this game. That's why I play it. It really feels like you are actually controlling the train. And uh, in other games, uh, like uh, like uh, Dovetail games, Train Sim, it's not as good. It just doesn't feel like you're actually on the train, <coughs> uh, whereas in this game it does. Alright, let's slow down. Oh, 
slow and I think we need to let's uh, do this let's uh, turn around because we do want to we want to go that way to the steel mill so we'll make it uh, we'll turn here You can uh, drive backwards uh, with this loco, but uh, then it doesn't cool as well because the radiators are in the front, so you will overheat more easily if you drive uh, drive backwards. That's basically the only reason why you want why you would want to drive uh, forwards. So now magically we've tur we've turned and now we're facing the the right way and uh this is the way to do it on with, with trains. There's no magically appearing the correct way in this game. If you want the loco to point somewhere, you need to make it make it happen. this there we go and now we can I think uh, I switched the, the other ones so we can basically just uh, coast all the way to our new cars new train one and then we'll uh, connect the connect the train I love these containers it looks so industrial here I mean the the ship that one the ship could look a bit better but this uh, the other things here and the, everything looks so nice it's like you're actually in a harbor Picking up uh, goods and stuff. I love it. I mean, the ship looks okay from this side, but when you're coming from uh, from the hills over there, then it uh, looks a bit blocky. Anyway, enough talking. I think we need to slow down here. There we go. Yep. There's scrap metal. Alright, and brakes on. And 
Titan. Connect. And this one, this train is 290 tons, I think. So it's gonna take some power. Power to pull it uh, uphill from here. So let's see how we do it. And, uh, okay. Let's accept this uh, mission. There we go. And confirm it's from D60 to the steel mill A6I. Yep, D60. And uh, scrap metal. HP FH 29. So we're good to go on our trusty steed, the L093. Alright, ready to go. Release the brakes, check pressures, it's fine. Headlights on. He horn. Reverser and uh, let's go. And uh, here we go. Barely moving, but we are moving. And we do need to get some speed up before we get to the get to the uphill part at the in the mountains because it's quite steep and we're really heavy. So we don't want to overheat. The steep uphills because then it's uh, it really becomes a struggle. Not ready for higher uh, throttle yet. There we go. Trying to get to 30. I think that 25 is uh, fine for now. I mean, we don't want to go too fast on these, uh, all these switches. get past this switch we'll uh, start accelerating again and the aim is to get 40 before we're uh, up the hill I mean I don't like going too fast when uh, the train is over several switches like in here there's two switches and the train is going through both of them there we go let's uh, get a move on Are we actually so we actually get enough speed. Come on, 30. <coughs> there we go, 30. Let's uh, let it cool down again and then get the four, try to get 40. giving it all we got so we get at least 40 or this should be easy should be easy what could possibly go wrong there we go and the start of the uphill this sign and then uh, limit of 50 
which we're not going to reach. We'll try it. Try to get 40. Still increasing the speed, which is good. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, speed is decreasing. We're gonna have to use some sand here. There we go, sand. There we go. Because we don't want to slow down, because the faster we get through here, the better. Yep. Still blowing sand. Still blowing sand. 45. Let's see if we can drink it through the sand. Nope. 50. Okay, there we go, and sand off. Limit will be 40 on the on the Y. We're getting to 40 because it's uh, so steep, we're slowing down. And we're already almost at the yellow, yellow zone with temps. And the uh, switch is on the left. The yep. Going to the right, and speed is 40. There we go. There's the warning. And uh, speed limit 70, still uphill. please we don't want any any wheel slip that will decrease the speed and waste all our all our efforts there we go yep let's go and uh, I think we will be good after this. Okay, and we need to cool down a bit. Still uphill. Using the sand. Watching the watching the temps very closely very closely still for speed is still 40 and uh, cutting power there we go we're still uphill but uh, we made past the worst bag oops and uh, yeah this game is still in early access so you can expect some uh, bugs especially visual ones and uh, not all of the features on the trains work either like the headlights and the fan they don't work and uh, the visual bugs like that uh, see through wall uh, the devs are, are aware so we don't have to report to everything. I think we're past uh, the hill now. Getting to do some downhills next. Looks like it. Speed limit 60. I think I can relax slightly more. There's still some uphill there with the limit of 40. Ok, 
Okay, let's scroll down a bit again. And there's the next Y. And um, we came from there last time, so it's almost certainly in the correct position. And the speed is at the limit, which is good. Engine is cooling. Some slight bumpiness, but that's fine. All the carriages are still with us. Alright, let's uh, get some more power in. There we go. And this is the Y. We need to go straight. Yep. There's a limit of uh, 70 now. We're still uh, uphill. Let's use some sand. And uh, four. I think after this tunnel we'll be the coasting downhill. Certainly. Yep, here's the here's the top. Now it's uh, now it's the flat with this uh, blue and uh, white sign. Soon we can uh, get up to speed on this uh, straight part, straight portion of track, and then uh, we'll uh, go to steel mill again, and let's see if what what we'll get from there. All right, let's get uh, the speed up now. And then we can talk about the, our destination. Throttle in, speed 55, going to 60, maximum throttle, but can we get uh, not much over 60 and we need to cut it. Oh well, that's fine, that's fine. And now it's uh, just coasting. So let's uh, look at our job. So we need to uncouple at the A6I and we're going to the steel mill so A6I which is here uh, now we're coming from the southwest now so we need to go through the B tracks all the way here towards the tutorial area and then reverse as, uh, the, uh, through the switches to here, six I. Yep, A six I. And look at that, we uh, don't have any throttle in, and we're still gaining speed and losing temp. And the faster you go, the faster the engine will cool as well. So I think we can get all the way to steel mill basically free now Uh, switch and then there's a couple more switches uh, 
Yeah, and this uh, part of the track is uh, really high speed. So when you get the other diesel or the steam, did I tell you guys that there's a steam logo in this game? And that's the fast one. You, it can go over a hundred easily, but then uh, you need to be shoveling coal and uh, watching the water pressure, and it's a uh, it's a really involved experience. We'll get to it at some point, I'm sure. Usually there is one at the harbor as well, but uh, there wasn't today. Okay, and we're getting into the next switch. Speed is below 70. There we go. That's fast. There we go. And then now uh, it's 80. Speed limit is 80, I mean. And then, uh, yeah. Speed limit 70 and downhill. By the way, we still got almost half a tank of fuel left. Could have probably done it in uh, in half a tank this whole round trip, but it's actually harder to, to play while talking, if you can imagine that. I've never done it before, so. I mean, this is my third D-Rail Valley video ever. There we go, almost at 8, we're going to uh, 75 now, almost to 80. The limit here is 80, so we need to be a bit careful. And, uh, yeah, there's 70 now, so let's, uh, let's get some brakes in. I think the limit is 70 at the... Uh, at the uh, junction as well. Yep. That's fine. 70 and then 80. I think we can cut the brakes. I mean, it takes a while to pressurize the brakes again. Now we got a speed limit of 50. But I think this is a fake uh, speed limit because it's a straight track. So we can actually go over 50. I think this is fine. What we're doing here is uh, fine. Let's uh, just uh, maybe just a little bit of braking. There we go. And then we need to switch this. There we go. Here's the steel mill again, and this is the track where we left last time, and there's uh, another load waiting, I guess. And then uh, we need to start thinking about stopping then, because it's a 300 ton train, it's not going to stop in, a, in an instant. Go, another notch of brake down to 40. Here's the switch. Another notch of brake, and uh, let's. Uh, we need to get all of the the cars. Now we're in a downhill as well. Uh, I think all of the cars are. Our past the switch. Hard to see from here. I think we need to go and uh, and have a look. Yep. Uh, so let's switch this and let's go and see where we need to go. So oh, this is a uh, this is the loading track, the A7L. 
that's uh, if you need to load cargo. And uh, where was that? So it's not the that one, but it's this one. So we just switch this, and then six uh, I. So it's this one. There we go. And now we go back. Oh, the train is moving. Look. Oh, we didn't put enough brakes in. Oh well. There we go. Uh, there we go, release. Reverses, reverse. Brakes are pressurizing. And we have the full uh, loco brake on, but it's still... Uh, we're still moving a bit. Yep, that's fine. Let's uh, throttle one notch, two notch, release brake, and uh, we're moving backwards. A bit faster, please. <laughs> Barely moving. You can see all the daffodils and lilies and stuff. I'm not an ornithologist, so I don't really know. I think it's uh, the lapidils and lilies. And are we are we going? It's uh, really difficult to see. I mean, in real life, you would never be able to to reverse a train like this. You need someone there to to help you. But I mean, there's no other people in this game yet. So it's fine to do this. And here we go. And speed is uh, 15. I think it's uh, enough for this endeavor. It's a good idea to reverse into this track anyway, because it's a dead end. So if you go loco first, then uh, how are you going to get out? That's a question. And I've fallen for it myself a couple of times, so... It's nothing special, but something you need to remember. Speed is still uh, over 10. That's fine, I think. Because I can't see properly, so I don't want to go too fast. And then it takes a while to slow down again. So just to avoid any, any unfortunate events. I like the look of this uh, steel mill with all this, uh, all the conveyors and this conveyor going uh, below ground and then up again here, or might, maybe it's uh, coal piles, maybe. Yeah, and this is the iron, raw iron, and then there's coal. They're bringing the coal to the steel steel mill. Okay, we're almost there. There we go. There we go, full brakes. And uh, let's go turn it in. Completed 24 minutes. I think that was similar than our last one. And here we go. 13.1. 
not bad, not bad. Anyway, I think that's it, guys. Next time, uh, we might go back to the harbor, or maybe we'll take this one to the goods goods factory. We will get the multiple multiple of Paul and to get these two. That would be a, that would be an adventure. The goods factory is, uh, is in here, in the, the north of the steel mill. Anyway. Thanks guys, and uh, remember to like this video and subscribe. Thanks, bye bye.